Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I am here to share with you uh, one of my design team projects for craft supplies for you for the month of July and it's a wall hanging using um, some of the doilies that I got in my design team package uh, last month <coughs> excuse me and um, I'm not sure if they're up in the store yet uh, but they, if they're not, they will be, um, I think, by next weekend. Uh, Julie's really busy um, filling orders from the sale that she had, and she's gotten behind in posting new items, but they will be in there. And I'll do a quick video when a lot of the new stuff is in the store, just so that you know. But this is the... Uh, the doily that I used and I used two of them uh, for stability uh, the one I put originally for the wall hanging and then I added this at the end mainly just to cover up and like I said for stability I used uh, a piece of pearl trim and uh, that's for the hanger and let's see let me Oh, I know. I put the this white fringe, I put it on the back. And that's all I did as far as the back goes. And then um, you really can only see pieces of it. But there was also another uh, doily that is square. And I put those on top. But you can only see pieces of them going around the edges and I um, placed it so that the wall hanging was in the diamond shape okay so then I put my um, image down and there's some batting underneath that and before I forget I added this little applique on the top and that's from uh, craft supplies for you also uh, I think quite a bit of what I used on this project is from craft supplies for you this little trim here with the um, pearls is also from craft supplies for you now the little rhinestone buttons are from my stash and I just um, she's got flowers on her um, hat and I just added the buttons in the middle of each flower and then all these um, flower appliques here and over here these are all appliques from the store. Uh, I forget how many you get in the package, but I cut them up to fit. I don't know if, I don't think I have one. Um, let's see that. Well, I guess maybe this one. It goes like this. It's a, and I use them all, so I can't even show you. But I think they come in a package of either like four or six. And then um, I just, I cut them up and then I just added, uh, like here's the little ones, that's part of the applique, the larger flowers. So I just cut them up to fit around the image. And then this is from my stash, these here. I had tea dyed that little trim somebody had sent me. <clears throat> Excuse me, this large um, black beaded and sequin applique is from craft supplies for you and I've been waiting to use that on something and I knew it had to be a basically a black and white project and then um, this dangle I don't think is from the store I think that's from my stash but this little applique here is part of those appliques up there and then <clears throat> hopefully I can lift this up see so you can see there's a piece of the what Julie calls a peacock lace and I know she's out of it but she is getting more in um, I think this week hopefully and then that's really uh, that's really all I added was the white fringe or the or cream and the um, peacock lace and then this applique here that's so that's all it took I did double up the um, fringe trim though so that it was a lot fuller 
<coughs> excuse me, but that's it really. That's uh, that makes up the um, wall hanging. So I will put the links to the stores in the description box. And um, as I said, I will let you know when Julie has, uh, she has a lot of new stuff going that'll be going in the store. And I'll let you know when it's in there. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you'd like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will be um, back again soon with more images to my challenge. Bye for now.